what kind of threat does it uh, pose to our country that persons might be traveling from the old world to the new world to join these migrant flows? Uh, I believe that uh, we must continue to monitor uh, anybody who has nefarious uh, desires for our country. Uh, homeland defense, uh, border security is national security, which equals homeland defense. Uh, there will be people take advantage of the opportunity uh, to come across that border. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, General Van Herc. I mean, if our border is open, anyone from around the world can get to Mexico and try to cross our border, not just to seek a better life here, but to harm or ultimately try to kill our own people. And I go back to the simple point. If you let them in, more will come. All the controversy you see in the media are misplaced, talking about how fast we're processing migrants through these detention facilities or whether they have enough showers or beds or cots. If you don't let them in the first place, you don't have to worry about the conditions in the detention centers. The Biden administration has to reverse course. There are three simple solutions. First, it should reapply the public health declaration under Title 42 to all foreign nationals. To, including minor, to include minors, just like the Trump administration did, as the Biden administration still does for adults. Second, it should renegotiate a new migrant protection protocol with Mexico, which it tore up for no reason on its first days in office. And third, it should reenter a safe third country agreement with Guatemala. If you're seeking asylum at our border, there's no reason you cannot seek asylum in Guatemala. That was the lesson of the last administration. Those three things alone will solve our crisis at the border, and they all can be done tomorrow. Uh, thank you, Senator.